hello friends so once again welcome to my channel and in this video you will see what is a denormalized number and the special values that i have mentioned in my beginning videos of ieee numbers how to represent them in ieee format that we are going to see so what is a denormalized number we know what is a normalized number the decimal point is to the right of the first one that is from the msb side so denormalized number is the number that is smaller than the smallest number that we can represent using your ieee format smaller than the smallest number in our last video we have seen what is the smallest number smallest positive number then smallest negative number both we have seen so whatever is the smallest number that we can represent if we come across less lesser than that number itself then those numbers are nothing but denormalized number for us right so see denormalized number is a very very small number which cannot be normalized that means that cannot be represented in our single precision format so see say one number is this one 0.0000 then so many zeros are there and then this one is there right so after decimal 131 places are there so after decimal 131 places are there if i need to uh, what is that normalize the number then how many places i need to bring the decimal point to the right i need to bring it to 130 places 130 places right so minus 130 plus 127 i need to do because i am bringing my decimal point to the right right so what will happen then minus 130 plus 127 will be what minus 3 but that i cannot represent we know in ieee my exponents are always positive because we are representing them using axis 127 or bias exponent we are representing where my value of bias is 127 so in this example we have seen this dot this decimal point will be brought here so that will be so many places so after implicit normalization it is what 1.1 into 2 to the power minus 130 that i said so m will be 1 e dash will be minus 3 but minus 3 is not, not there in conventional method my misspelling mistake is there in conventional method this number cannot be stored in the uh, ieee as the exponent is negative but in ieee standard this number will be treated as a special number because in this video we are going to see special number one among them is denormalized number so what is denormalized number we can have some idea now so ieee 754 standard says that for a small number normalize it till up to minus 126 bits only minus 126 is the last exponent right minus 126 plus 127 will be what plus one that is the least exponent i can represent in ieee format so it says that whatever be the smaller number normalize it up to minus 126 bits right be because beyond that if i'll go i can't represent it in your ieee format so let's say my number is this after decimal say 130 places are there so see after decimal 130 places are there if i'll bring the dot it means decimal point it will come here that is 129 but up to 129 i can't do i will do up to 126 places only so it says bring it up to 126 so see one 129 is here 126 means what another your uh, this one what is that three places right so this is 129 128 127 126 so 0.0011 will be the number because 126 places i'll bring to the right then here two zeros and 011 will be there so this is the norm means whatever maximum possible normalization is possible for a smaller number that we did right then what is your m m will be 0011 right m is 0011 and see why i have written e dash to be your uh, what is that mm, all zeros why not one why because see this is not the normalized number but in ieee we represent normalized number right so to indicate that this is not a normal number right because this number is not till now normalized if it is normalized then it should be one point something but here i do not have one point something i have 0 0.0011 right so and that part i am representing in mantissa so to indicate that it is not actually a normal number 
that e dash is not represented as plus 1 rather it is represented as all 0 0 so whenever we will see that e dash is all 0 0 but m is not 0 then we'll understand it is nothing but a denormalized number it is nothing but a denormalized number right so this is an example of denormalized number hope what is denormalized number is understood and how to represent it is also understood so suppose one number is given like this how to get back the value that i will see next so the value will be what minus 1 to the power s that will be there but now see the number is denormalized so it is not one point something it is 0 point m right because still the number is not normalized right so 0 point m 0 point 0011 1 will be there and 2 to the power minus 1 to 6 directly we will write that because we have normalizes up to what minus 126 only right so this one is 2 to the power minus 126 only so what is this value this value is nothing but bias minus 1 right so this is how a denormalized numbers value can be uh, we can take out the value of a denormalized number do remember for a denormalized number we are unable to normalize it we can normalize up to 126 places only so whatever is the number in that 0 point m will be there it is not 1 point m because it is not normalized and it will not be that exponent and all because exponent is already as 0 we have stored that is representing special value so my exponent means my this one uh, scale factor will be 2 to the power minus 126 so this is about denormalized number right now see what are the special values we are going to represent so see uh, see as uh, we have got three components in our number s e dash m so when a, see what values of e dash we cannot have in a normal number all zero all one right apart from that everything is possible in our number right so whenever e dash is all zero m all 23 bits are zero it is representing the value zero so whenever we are doing some uh, calculation and we come across the value 0 then to indicate that this combination s e dash m is used all 0 right it is positive 0 s if is, it is one, uh, 1 then it is negative 0 both are same only positive 0 negative 0 are not different the next one is infinity what is infinity Z something by 0 whenever while doing calculation by mistake if we are doing uh, something by 0 suppose my denominator is 0 then we got one result and in that result e dash all 8 bits will be 1 and m will be taken as 0 that means it is a infinity s may be 0 s may be 1 right then next is whenever we are doing square root of a number and we are doing say we are doing minus 4 right so negative root over of a negative number is nothing but not a number n a n you may might have come across this error while doing coding sometime in your coding square root is there and by mistake inside square root whatever is there that is giving you a negative value then we come across a error it is written in our output n a n n a n stands for not a number so to indicate this error we are using e dash all eight bits to be one one and m not equal to zero m will be some values and e dash will be all one one that is not a number then the last one denormalized number denormalized number is what already i explained e dash is all eight zeros and m is not equal to zero last example we have seen zero zero one one was there so all zero is e dash m is not zero then it is a denormalized number apart from that that means e dash is not all zero e dash is not all one but m is anything m is anything right m may be all zero all one or anything one zero one zero may here see uh, we have written this uh, x means it can be either one or it can be zero so in this brown color is indicating my normalized number or the numbers that i can represent in i triple e single precision format but these upper ones are indicating my what values special values or we used to say them as exceptions sometimes in your university exam the question comes how to represent zero infinity n a n denormalized number in i triple e format then you have to write this see it is easier to remember also because somehow we need to remember it also zero is what 
all zero. S is zero. S you take zero one does not matter. E days is all zero. M all zero is zero. Right? Infinity. Infinity is taking telling me take all one. Infinity is means higher value. So take E days to be all one, but it's a special case. So take M to be all zero. Right? This we can remember. Then N A N. N A N is after infinity. So all one, but M not equal to zero. Denormalized number. It, it is smaller than the smallest number. So you take E days to be all zeros, right? And M will not be equal to zero, right? So that is denormalized number. Apart from that, where E days is not all zero, neither not all one, but M has any value, that means it is a normal number, right? So this much is there in this video. Do remember these special cases because in your gate exam also, they will give this combination and will ask what value is represented. So we should know looking at these combinations only that these are not my normal number. See, when you see any one of these, all zero, all one in EDS, please understand that they are representing a special value. Other than that, something is there. Then only try to go for finding the value, right? So this is all about your special values. Then in next video, we'll perform the operations on IEEE numbers. We'll do addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Till then, thank you. And if you're getting from my explanations, then please do not forget to like my videos and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.